Uh, this morning we're going to open in prayer and, and Sarah Scarpino is going to come and share a heart with us, okay? Father in heaven, thank you for creating in us a clean heart. Lord, helping our minds to be ready to receive all day today, but we're going to start this morning together. Thank you for giving us your word, giving us the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness. Our loins girt about the truth, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, having the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart, and having the sword of the Spirit, Lord, we will stand. We will stand together. In Jesus' name. Everyone said, Amen. Sarah. <clears throat> Okay, it's really early. <laughs> I had a hard time getting up this morning. Okay, I'm going to pray one more time. Father, thank you for these people. Thank you that you see them, you know them, and you love them. Thank you that you are here for them, and you are listening. And I pray, Lord, that your belovedness, that your heart of love would be poured out upon them this morning, just as a short worship. And that your spirit would flow with them and walk with them all day today. And every moment they would know that your presence is surrounding them and it is in them. Thank you, Lord, that your words will flow and that people will see you and they will run to you and they will want you who love them. It is for you. And it is for them that you died and you love them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, if you have your Bible, go to Mark 5. graciously gives the money to his son. He gives him his inheritance. He gives the son all that he's prepared for him. Every good thing. He just gives it to him. He says, take it. And the son says, okay, thanks, Dad. Okay, bye. And he leaves. And he goes out, and he squanders it all. And he, he thinks he's living a pretty good life. And you know what? He probably was. For a little while, he had friends. He had a girlfriend. He had everything he wanted. And one day, everything is gone. And poof! Wait, he's just like, wait a second. You remember? He's eating with pigs. Right? Wakes up and he says, it is better in my father's house. Servants eat better in my father's house. And he's like, okay, I go home and I just tell my father, okay, I, I know I'm not worthy. I know I don't deserve this. 
And if I just get on my knees and I just fall down and I just say, I, I know I'm not worthy of this and I don't deserve anything. I squandered everything you gave me. I squandered every good thing. I, I battered your name. I threw it in the dirt. I trashed it. If I just say that, then maybe he will let me live in his house and eat the bread of servants. And what happens? He goes home. Season from the gate, he's standing there every day. He's been looking for him, he's been waiting for him, he's been watching for him, and he's been praying to his God in heaven, to Jesus, to Father, and he's been saying, Please bring my son home, please bring my beloved son home. What you think of yourself is separate from what God thinks of you. And I will tell you right now, he is not just Almighty God who's in heaven and always on his throne. No, he is right there next to you. He's in your heart. And he's a father. He's a good father. We all know what it's like to be loved by a bad father. Not a lot of us have had super great childhoods. Maybe our dad's made a lot of mistakes. So every time we come to that secret place, every time we come to be with Jesus, every time we try and open our hearts to him, it's like, it's like we close off. It's like we don't, we don't want him to see us because what if he won't accept us? What if he won't take how, how the things we love? What if he won't hold it in his hand? And what if he won't cherish it? One morning at school, I go to Southern Adventist University, and I had a hard time getting on time to my classes. So, but one morning, I just said, I'm not just, just not going to go to class. I'm just, just going to sit here, and I'm going to talk to you, Father. And I was sitting there, and I, I noticed, and I was just, okay, Father, like, this has really been bothering me, this one thing in my heart. And I, and I kind of just held out my hand, and I just kind of preached to myself, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to hold out my hand. Here. I'm being open and vulnerable with you, Father. And then he said, you know what? Do you see, Sarah, how I'm not pushing you down? Do you see how I'm not kicking you to the curb? Do you see how I, I love every little part of your heart? And do you see how I'm just holding it here and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, it's so beautiful. You're so beautiful. So there's the son, he's, he's just kind of walking, he's covered in dirt and, and, and muck, and, and there's the father, and he sees him, he jumps, he runs, he goes, and my son, he grabs him, he holds him tight, and then the son's just kind of like, don't touch me, I'm dirty, you don't want to love me. I'm like, where is he? And he's looking away, he's looking away, and his father's like, no, look at me, look at me, look into my eyes. If you look into of Jesus, you will see your worth. So open your eyes. Open your eyes to him. Look at the light. Open your eyes. Push past the doubt. Push past the fear. Push past the unworthiness and come to your father in the secret place. And say, okay, I'm going to let you love me. And the son says, don't look at me, I'm unworthy. I feel like everything, and he starts to cry. I'm not, I, I totally bashed you. I totally bashed you. And he says, son, look at me. I love you. And he gives him a robe and a ring. And I'll tell you that moment when his son, he stops and then he locks eyes with his father and he looks into his face and he says, you really love me? But what about what I did? I'm unworthy. And he said, don't let what you've done separate you from your worth. 
I'm telling you, Jesus, he was pressing toward that cross. He was pressing, he was pressing, he was pressing. He said, Sarah Scarpino needs to know that she's loved and that she has always will, always has been, and always will be the big love. Hearted. Yet, while we were crying on our floor, yet while we were weeping over um, our broken hearts, he loved us. You can come to this church, and you can sit down, and you can, and you can do your hair, or you can wear your clothes, but Father knows deep down in your heart, you are a soul in need of love. And you are loved. And you can go out into the world. And you can trash yourself. And you can hurt yourself. And you can do all these things. But one thing will never change. Is that you are loved. So when you feel unworthy. You say, "Uh uh-uh, Satan. I know my. And I know my Jesus says, I love you. I am holding you. And you get up, and you get up courageous, and you say, I am no longer a slave to sin. I am no longer a slave to my past. I am no longer a slave to what hurt me, to who hurt me. I am free, I am loved, and I am known. And one thing, when you go to the secret place when you're with your father, Come joyful. Come knowing you're wanted. Because when you pray, your Father in heaven gets out of praying. Okay, okay, she's praying. Okay, I'm going to listen. Okay, what? And when you pray, and when you talk to him, tell him your heart. Because you know what? For years, here's what I did. I'd wake up in the morning, I'd read my Bible, Oh, Father, I'm not worthy to be here. Oh, Sovereign God, I know I'm not worthy of this. And he says, Sarah, I paved the way for you to sit with me, for you to smile, to sit on my lap, to talk to me, to throw the ball with me. Let me tie your shoes. Let me teach you how to play football. Let me teach you how to do this. What is, you know, you've got to think, what is the one thing you've always, what is the one thing you love doing? He wants to do that with you. Why? Because he loves you. You have always been the beloved. And his heart is for you. but you love me. And the more you hold on to that love, you're not, you're going to fall really deeply in love with the Father, with your Father. Because you're going to realize that no other love that you're looking for matches His. I'm a candidate. Anything of you other than you. 
He already sees everything. And I know we hear our pastors say, be reverent, we got to do that. But you know what? Jesus died so that you could go be with him and jump around and sing and say, I'm saved, I'm loved. And I'm going to proclaim it because now I have joy. And you take the hand of Jesus and you walk together. And you say, this is my father. This is the man who loved me. He's the missing piece to my heart. I have always been and I have, and I always will be the beloved. I'm going to pray. Oh, Jesus. I pray every spirit of love, every Holy Spirit, fire, power, Lord, that you want to save your children, and I pray that they hear it. I pray that every evil bit, Lord, of do's and don'ts, I have, to, I have to be sinless to come to you. Lord, I pray that when they open up your word, when they go out for a walk to talk to you, that they don't look for ways to become perfect, sinless beings, but they just come to know your heart. They would know that they can just come and sit with you because you're a person and you're loving and you want them. And I pray, Lord, that they would fight and they would say, I don't care what kind of a sinner I am. I'm meant to be here with you. Thank you, Father, that you ran. You ran down the lane for me. have always been and I will always be the beloved. And I pray, Jesus, that the call and the heart that you want to heal and you want to love in your spirit, Lord, and pour over this place right now, and that people would know that you're here. And they would just want to give their heart to you. Thank you for doing it, Father. It's already done. You love these people. You're faithful to them. And all the sins, Lord, that they think they have to fix or get rid of before they can look at you, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you just hold them, hold their face, and the light pours on them. And you say, I paved every road to look at you. To look at that beautiful face and heart and eyes that I created. I just want to be with you. I gave up heaven to sit with you. Thank you, Father, for pouring in us. Thank you for saying what you want to say. Thank you for being bigger than our fear. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.